Hello, welcome. Doc Slade Live, the Brain's Body, the Ultimate Experience. And um, we're going to be talking today about my new book, Fresh, Fresh Off the Prince, Human System Science in the Best Interest of the Child's Mental Health and Self-Awareness. And I'm talking from five perspectives. The first point that I want to move to is human system science, and then the key areas for supporting the child, and then mental health, self-awareness, and then my interpretations of the brain's body that I'm trying to get you to begin to discuss when you pick up the book, the first page. Think about it. I'm asking you to practice the art of analyzing the words because the words are part of the practice. Example, we do this all the time. Live to learn how to move through contact. That's a step, a sense step. Because when I'm talking about human system science, I'm talking about the study of self. And when a child comes out of the womb, their first step is to move through the contact of environmental stimulation. That's the doctor, that's the breath of life, that's the interaction of the neurophysiological systems of the child's brain. And I said that to say that people get it twisted, in my opinion, when they say that to sense is the same thing as to feel because it isn't. To sense is to recognize, to feel is the connection to the neurologic systems of the brain. And then the transfer is the complication because a child can refuse to accept your contact and disconnect their sense of feel for you, which means that their brain is not involved in processing the experience of you. Therefore, you're dealing with the body and you're dealing with the physics. And that's why you talk to their body as a state of mind versus their brain, because you're trying to figure out how to control their sense path to respond to your stimulation. And some children just won't do it because they understand what you're trying to get them to do. And they won't move through it without signs of care. So what I'm saying is, human some science to study itself first. And I say that to mean that a parent, a teacher, and a coach must learn how to sense and feel the child's information, sense and receive path functions, to give them a level of awareness of care that you're taking the time to figure out how they cause you to feel because now you've got tele telepathic energy moving through the transaction between you and the child. So I'm talking about human system science and the best interest of the child. I'm talking about parenting. I'm talking about teaching. I'm talking about coaching. Because we, when we get into mental health, those are the foundational individual pieces to the learning system, the child's learning system, their home, school, baby workplace network, that they have to move through in order to become successful individually. And so I'm saying to you that a home is a place where a parent has to learn how to sense and feel the child's energy, action, and feelings before they begin to train the child's response path, the brain, through a state of mind. Because when you're training the child, you are saying, do what you see me do. Say what you, what you feel I'm saying. Follow me. Let me be the model. Don't think, just respond. I'm talking about programming the sense path to receive your information flow. And there's nothing wrong with that except that socialization before the child has learned how to sense and feel for you so that you are the lead. And as they sense and feel for you, you 
in return have to sense and feel for them. Meaning they are a technology. You have to go to the level because you, excuse my jargon, are old technology trained to socialize a child in society, negating the fact that the child is in a new century, the 21st century, wireless children whom are dealing with technology that's intended to control and manage their existence going forward at cost that are scaled over their lifetime. And you are learning how to fit into that technology, but it's made for your children's brain, body, sense systems now. And you have to understand, I'm, I'm saying that it's you who must adjust and adapt when that child takes that first breath of life and realize I must become more informed about what it's gonna to take for me to be the leader of this child who is living in a new century with different requirements as where when I came through. Now what happens when you begin to understand through signs of care that you have to manage the brain, not the body. And managing the brain means you have to learn, sense, and receive path functions so that the child's mental health is aligned with brain, body, and sense messaging. So that's what I'm talking about. The crisis self is when a child does not have a sense of the physics in line with the neurophysics of transformation to a higher state of self-actualization within home, school, neighborhood structures. Those are their growth cycles. Learn how to live in a home, learn how to learn in school, learn how to think in a neighborhood, learn how to respond to the world, okay? The economy. I'm talking about adults who have to learn from children how to move children through a new century, a new era, a new technology, as technologies designed to interface with today's economy, but they have to go through school to do it. So if you understand what I'm saying to you, the book is talking about breath of life and what has to happen. What we have to do, if we want children to become more successfully balanced and less disturbed by contact interaction, because it's different in the home than when they get to school or when they're in their neighborhood, and the interaction requirements are all different. And so that is sense and receive path. That's memory and emotion, thought and reflection colliding. And a child has to be able to manage that activity, that interaction, and channel it, as Piaget say, or as Maslow's hierarchy of needs describe. Or as Dr. Slayton is talking about brain talk, when you understand that your, that your brain has to be in the lead of you when you interact with your child, because that's the telepathic connection. Your brain meets your child's brain. Now you're in line because you have to elevate. And you don't elevate through anger, frustration, or disappointment. You elevate by informing yourself on what it really takes to interact with this new technology that's simple, but advanced. Because as you begin to focus your energy on their brain, they go to the level because you're teaching them how to move through their sense of field for self, okay? So that is three things. The physics, the neurophysics, and the neurosociological dynamics a brain body sense connections. Okay? So they're connected to the universe, self, other people, and the environment. So that brings us to the closing foundations of our discussion. And what I've been talking about is mentalism. Because when you talk about the brain, I learned from Hugo Tubba, we're talking about the beginning of a sense of becoming. Because before you can capture that sense of continuity, where you feel that you fit in, you have to understand what it means to become mental. So mentalism 
is what I've been talking to you about. And mentalism is how you investigate the mental states that influence how you sense, receive, and process information through the experience of self because you are the experience. The ultimate experience is you because you are alive. You live inside your human system. And that's the first thing I want you to relax and realize when you turn into the brain's body because I'm trying to get you to understand it's okay to understand how your brain feels as a technology because it's not the same as it was now in the next hour. Another example, because the brain responds to what we're talking about. So if I'm a blue blue, your brain's gonna tell you, he didn't make any sense at all. And then when you pick up the book, the word art, the word art is designed to open you up to the experience of information processing, moving through that emotion and that memory of being trained. Because my book is not about training, it's about processing how you've been trained to think and react. And I'm saying adjust, adapt, and allow yourself to begin to process the experience of self to feel the brain interacting with your child and allow your child's brain to interact with you because you are adjusting and adapting and realizing I am helping my child help me help them move through me, the crisis of me, so that I can begin to evolve at a higher level of functionality that allows my child to evolve and become more informed, more disciplined, because they choose to participate with me in the lead versus me demanding based upon what I see their bodies doing when in fact their bodies could be doing something awkward and they're conforming. But you want them to physically display personality, attitude, character, behavior the way you've been trained to see it. And that's why your child is hurt because they gave, they gave you their all, but you weren't prepared to receive it unless it was the way you packaged it in your childhood and was handed down to you by your mentors and so forth and so on. And I'm talking about in the best interest of the child's mental health, you must advance your human technology to begin to comprehend that children are the new frontier in brain talk. Because you got to talk to their brains, not their bodies. Mentalism is what I'm talking about. And the word art focuses on the expressions of the creativity that you move through as you analyze the words that I'm using. Live, learn, think, respond, contact, interaction, cooperation, participation. These are all not my theories. They're Bloom's Taxonomy of Learning Information Processing. They are peers. They are a lot of influencers that I tested in my learning academies, the Progress Investing Institute the Focus Learning, okay, where I ran tests, frequent exams to allow my children to move inside their homes and interact with as blended families and make sense of the contact interaction and began to realize why I was hurt and how to move through that pain, hurt, and sadness. The science behind human system science that I'm talking you through when you turn into the channel is real because it employs systematic approaches. So it's not one dimensional, it's multi dimensional. It is human cognitive behavior, neuroscience, neurophysics, okay? but it's all found in the same sense of the information technologies that you're learning how to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, bam. Just a different learn language system. So what am I talking about? Thinking through the crisis itself. So I want you to stay tuned and I'll be back shortly. But remember, 
the brain's body, brain talk, reflective storytelling, moving through the crisis self, not for you, but for the best interest of the family when you have a child in crisis and you're the problem or your unawareness of how to adjust and adapt to their technology because they see the world differently than you do and they must in the 21st century. Dr. Slade Live, stay tuned.